years later, Eshki Mistovsky was still recounting the story of how we'd met. To tell you the Emmis, that night I'd gone along to the club for a quiet game of Kaluki. I didn't feel like running around. My nerves were giving me trouble, and I'd just come out of a bath. Yes, I had my bat with me, but that didn't mean anything. Anyone who knows me will tell you I don't go anywhere without my bat. Anyway, I get to the card room and no one's turned up yet, so I think I may as well take a cook at the table tennis room. How far is it to walk? The usual gangs there, Sheeny Waxman, Twink Star, Louis Marx, Gershon Finkel, all nice people. And we're sitting around having a knock and a novel when suddenly, and you'll split your sides at this, in walks this kid carrying a bat as big as the Empire State Building, challenges me to a game and starts schmicing the ball past me. I'm telling you, I have never seen a ball hit faster. And this is just the knock-up. I think, OK, Chaim Yankel, say your prayers. And I start zetsing the ball myself. Makes no difference. I hit it hard, he hits it back twice as hard. Then he puts a chop on it. Oi, I see it spinning backwards in the air and fizzing like Superman's chopped it. That's it. I put my bat down, look across at Twink Star, whose mouth has fallen halfway off his face, and I say, OK, maestro, so you give the teapot lid a knock. What'll it cost you? But we both knew a legend had been born.